What's going on guys, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, I'm gonna break down for you guys what are the top five Chrome extensions to help you improve your productivity. Before I get into the topic of this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. With that being said, let's get started with number one, Newsfeed Eradicator. So this productivity extension is awesome because as we all know, we like to scroll through things if they come our way. And even as I am, you know, like this whole productivity enthusiast, I still fall, you know, trap to this. I, I'll open up LinkedIn to check something with posts and the next thing I know I've scrolled through a couple posts. Same with Facebook, etc. And it's really nice to have this eradicator once you implement it to prevent you from seeing a feed in general. For YouTube, that's a big one for me. I got to work on my YouTube background listening problem and I think getting this application and this, this extension is going to really help anyone who is interested in improving their overall productivity by getting rid of that distraction of social media. So number two, it's a really nice one to have. It's actually the LastPass password extension. So LastPass is a really awesome application that lets you kind of password manage everything. And, and if you have premium, you can have it on multiple devices. Uh, but for me, I think obviously most of the things you really tangibly need to sign into that are important should be on the computer. So having the free version is fine. It has everything saved there. It auto generates some, some nice passwords that are different so that you don't always use the same password and then you can autofill and you're going to be good to go. I think it's one of those uh, applications that doesn't always coincide with productivity in people's minds. However, if you spend less time trying to find passwords, if you spend more time doing the things in the applications, you save time. So I would say this is a nice little productivity extension to have. So extension number three is Grammarly. If you guys want to up your game in the web browser and have a version of spell check, that's just, that's just better. I mean, like it, it's an, I think personally Grammarly is much better. Uh, there's a free version, there's a premium version. The premium version helps with like specific writing style sort of things and being more concise. That's a good option. The free version, just like really good spell check. It's good for emails. You know, you can prevent yourself from kind of looking a little silly when, you know, there are situations where it just happens. So that's why I do all my email through Gmail now, uh, cause like that Grammarly extension is nice. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that one. If you haven't heard of it before, I personally think quicker typing overall increases productivity and being able to solve typing errors quicker, you know, helps with your productivity. I'm someone who's been trying to improve my typing speed as y'all have probably I think I referenced it in my last 30 day video. Uh, I'm somebody who has, you know, decently high ceiling in regards to that. And then on top of that, fixing spelling mistakes, you know, just make in the digital world, you type a lot, fix that stuff quicker. You're improving your productivity. So number four is Noisly. And this is something that I recently found. I really like it actually. It's a free and a premium version. The free version is pretty fine. Uh, it, it's something that you you can put on your, your Chrome. There's this extension will, uh, have a connection with a website that is it was noisely.com and that website basically has background noises for you so whether it's relaxing you know rain noise or just a fan you cannot listen to music and listen to like background just white noise and it'll honestly suck you into like a nice productive workflow if you're someone who works well with that and I really recommend it to anybody who's interested in, in finding that sort of a different kind of uh, listening experience because Personally, I think music's great, but there are times where words get in the way of productivity. If I'm doing a writing session, I don't think it's always good, especially, you know, I found this a lot in school. If I was writing a paper, I didn't think music helped me be productive in that sense. The music with lyrics, not great. Now, if you're doing some monotonous data work, sure. Uh, but this, I think, works either way. It can be relaxing. It can help you be productive. It's a really great extension that I think you all should go check out. So number five is Audiblog. So Audiblogs used to be fully free, unfortunately is not anymore, but the price, very cheap. So I think it's only like 15-ish a year and this app, or this extension rather, is amazing. I mean, you use this and you go into any blog, anything that's basically got text on the internet and you press this extension and it can turn it into a podcast. I mean, this is, this is, this is some groundbreaking stuff we're talking about. When, when I was a student, and I've showed Chance this. I mean, we joked about like not telling anybody because it was so good, but Thomas Frank had it in a video. So I mean, it's not like I'm more, you know, I'm me knowing after that, it's not like it's any sort of hidden secret, but essentially Audi blogs is, and I probably can show you guys, but there is a, uh, it's like a whole, it's, it's in podcasts. It's in Apple podcasts. It can go into podcast apps 
and it gives you this RSS feed and basically what you do is you go onto a blog, you, you press the audio blogs extension, turns it into a blog and then the next thing you know, you have a podcast version. And honestly, the audio on this thing is pretty good. Like it's, it's actually kind of stellar. I can give you an example here if I get a nice edit in. While the coronavirus pandemic is easing, remote work isn't going anywhere. That means it's still important to find your own ways of staying on task and keeping organized, even if you're not heading back to the office full time or at all. Great apps like the ones here can make work feel more tolerable. And regardless, it's good. You know, you can save a lot of time. If you're a student and you have any sort of disposable income or if you have, honestly, get rid of Spotify premium and get this. Like this is ridiculous productivity we're talking about here. I was able to clean and do homework at the same time. I was able to, you know, increase my level of, of student, you know, GPA while cleaning because, you know, I was, I never missed a reading because it was easy when you're just podcast listening. So I really recommend that one. I think that might be my favorite one on the list. Uh, I think for students, it's the, it's the best one. And uh, without further ado, it's time to end the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. It's been a really nice change for this channel to go this route. I think the support has been awesome actually. And I thank each and every one of you for helping make that be the case because you know, when you make podcast or channel transitions, you get a little nervous, but um, I never was that nervous because I knew I, I enjoyed what I was doing. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.